Chelsea are through to the round of 16 of the Champions League season 2023-2022. Katasov Kovacic and a man who goes by names of Kai Havas who really scored in the finale of 2021 for them to win the Champions League when they beat City by one goal to nil. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, guys. Comment and share. I told you we are back in full swing and obviously third video of the day and we are here to really bring you the match reaction of RB Salzburg 1, Chelsea 2 in a highly contested league game. Sorry, Champions League game. I think it's Group D. Not so. I think it's Group E in there for you with Chelsea topping it right about now. The likes of RB Salzburg look like they're out because they left one game and their chances to go through depend on the result between AC Milan and a team which goes by names of Dynamo Zagreb because if at all AC Milan wins over Dynamo Zagreb then it's really going to be a hard one because whoever wins between AC Milan whoever wins between AC Milan and RB Salzburg will be going through into the round of 16 so this game for AC Milan is really crucial as it was a sandwich goes by the names of Chelsea and Chelsea went ahead to really win this game of football obviously in the 48th minute a player who goes by the names of Mateo Kovacic scored into the 23rd minute and Kai Havas scored into the 64th minute but Junior Adamo had really equalized the 48th minute but it took close to it took close to to 14 minutes for Chelsea to go on and really say, all right, we have to go on and really lead this go game in the for you. Both goals were really good. Kai Havas creating the assist for the first goal, which was really well placed into the back of the net by Kovacic. And obviously, Kai Havas going in for a calling effort, for side which goes by names of Chelsea. And obviously, it really gave them a very good lead in there for you. But obviously, a lot of saves made by a man who goes by the names of... of um, Kepa as a balaga, the goalkeeper of a team which goes by the names of the goalkeeper of a team which goes by the names of Chelsea. He really did fantastic saves, and obviously he had everything to do to go ahead and really put his side to the side that is really leading this game of football. To keep them into the game, it was really very much pivotal because it was really a very good effort in there for you. And Chelsea had very many efforts, like this one of like this one of a man who goes by the names of um, Jorginho. He went in for short. It was cleared off the line, like this one. So Chelsea really had a control of the game, but obviously they failed to go ahead and really utilize their chances. This is one of the balls that we are retaken really off the goal line by the goal scorer of the SS of, of RB Salzburg. That is Adam, and he took it off the line. It was a very good Jorginho effort, and obviously it went into the direction of the goal but obviously Adamo cleared it off the line but I think if at all Chelsea had not got the three points Pierrick Merrick Abomian would have been the person to blame because he got three clear-cut chances guys leave alone chances we're talking about three clear-cut chances and you could really bag it in the back of the net but he couldn't and obviously Chelsea would have blamed him for this loss in the for you but what a way for Chelsea to come in back being beaten away at Zen Dynamo Zagreb and then they came at Stamford Bridge. They drew with, um, I think, Albi Salzburg. They drew 1-1. One, one. And obviously, they've gone ahead to win three games in a row. And obviously, those are 10 points. And remember, in the Champions League stage, group stages, if at all you really earn 10 points, then you are already through. And that is what Chelsea is all about right about now. They are through to the round of 16. Now, it's all about them and their result. They are going to get next Wednesday. On who is really going to top the table but i believe chelsea would love to go on and really top the table because when you top the table you might not go ahead and really face some hard teams in the way but obviously champions league is the league or is a tournament for the big boys if you're not a big boy we don't expect you to come this side so benjamin sheshko one will ask me did benjamin sheshko play i was so much shocked because benjamin sheshko played like only 30 minutes in this game of football they said which goes by names of First side, which goes by names of RB Salzburg. I believe he would have played more, but I don't know why the manager really never really started him because when he came on, he was really a threat. He was a total threat to this game of football. But I believe the likes of Okafo, who was really taken off, missed him because I believe they have a very good combination with Okafo. And obviously, he was not played into this game of football. And I believe they missed that combination. Otherwise, the manager of RB Salzburg, I think 
he had really brought in a plan of bringing Sheshko maybe later because he knew that they had not yet lost a game of football in their stadium since 2021 and i think it was february when they are playing Villarreal in the knockout tournament in the knockout stage of the of the champions league and i believe rb Salzburg knew that they're having an age over chelsea because of their record that has been standing and they hadn't lost a game but obviously i want to give kudos to one of the players that really played well for me that is Kona garaga Kona garaga is one of those players that is really shocking me I thought that he was not going to get enough playing time according to the midfield situation at Chelsea. We are having Golo Kante, you are having uh, Jorginho Kovacic, those three midfielders. And with Chelsea playing with two holding midfielders, I thought that the other ones were really far much better than him. You can either play Jorginho with Kovacic or Kovacic with Kante. But the injuries of Kante have really contributed to him not being the ideal man to go on and really play into that game or in that position and obviously Conor Garaga is really one of those players that has really got enough playing time at Chelsea that has really shocked me because I never saw it coming but obviously it came the right way and obviously Conor Garaga to me has been my man of the match though very really good come out and say that oh Rokani what of Kai Havas two goal involvement scoring one and really creating one I believe most of you would hurry to go on and really talk about talk about um Kai Havas and considering him to be your man of the match but for my case if I'm to choose my man of the match it's obviously Conor Garaga played very well and he almost ran and stepped on every grass into that Salzburg stadium he was really very active I liked his intensity and he's sending a message to the manager please I'm really the ideal guy to go on and really do the needful into this game of football as we play very many teams in the for you. He never played a very huge role over the weekend when Chelsea drew with Manchester United 1-1. But obviously, he came on through and really played some little minutes. And today, he has started the game of football. The likes of Mason Mount were on the bench and they couldn't make it to the starting eleven of a team which goes by name to Chelsea. It's really in a very huge question on who should start in that side of a team which goes by names of Chelsea. I think the constants are Kepa Azebalaga, Thiago Silva... Raheem Sterling and Abomian. Those four are constants. I think if I had to name the starting eleven of a team which goes by the name of Chelsea, those four are constants. But the rest, they can change according to what is happening. And I believe Rhys James might have been a constant also, if at all he had not really gotten that injury that has really thrown him out of contention for close to some months and he might miss out on the World Cup. Even the likes of uh, Wesley Fafana, He's one of those players that you expect to go in and decide which goes by names of Chelsea and really start, but he's injured. Kuli Bale is really another one who would have gone ahead to start, but I think he's injured, prone, and obviously he's out of these games. And who else? Chichurela. Chichurela, yeah, because he is a player that the manager really loves so much, though he took him off in that game of a team which goes by names of Manchester United for only 35 minutes and brought on Kovacic that stabilized the midfield of a team which goes by the names of of Chelsea into that game of football. So Chelsea is through to the round of 16 and obviously Graham Porter having coached his first season in the Champions League he has taken Chelsea to the round of 16. One will say but even Lampard took it there they're having better players but guys it's not an easy job. I saw Ole Gunnar Solskjaer fidget at Manchester United you get his first season he took United to the Champions League live alone when he formed them the Champions League and beat when Mourinho had just taken United through the group stages and he knocked out PSG in the round of 16 and was knocked out of Barcelona by four goals to nil aggregate. The next season, 2019-2020, when he really took United to the Champions League, he went to the UEFA Europa League because he couldn't really take it through the group stages. So it's not an easy job, guys. It's not an easy job. So we have to give this guy kudos because he formed Chelsea when they lost their first game. And obviously, he has gone ahead to win three and draw one to collect 10 points. And obviously, Zagreb is coming at Stamford Bridge. That's the last game. And obviously, I think the revenge is going to be out in high gear. So, guys, tell me what you think about RB Salzburg 1, Chelsea 2 into this Champions League game of football. And what do you think? Who was your man of the match? And who do you believe was so much wasteful? To me, I believe Abomian was so much wasteful. And obviously, 
he couldn't put the ball at the back of the net. I think he has not yet found his shooting boots again, but I believe soon he will find them and obviously become that deadliest striker we always knew at Borussia Dortmund and Arsenal. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. See you later in the next video. And that happens to be our last video of the day. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner, smash the red button that has the word subscribe and after hit the notification bell. I'm out. May the Almighty Lord watch over you.